Hey students, it's Mr. Chang, and today we're gonna to talk about liters and milliliters, okay? A milliliter is a very tiny, tiny amount. It's very small. It's like even the size or even smaller than a raindrop. It doesn't even take up a whole spoon. That's how small a milliliter is. It's not a lot. So if you're measuring something, if you have like um, a bottle of water, a can of soda, or a carton, a little milk, one of the ones that you get at the cafeteria, usually you use milliliters to measure that, okay? Even a water bottle, like the one I had in class today, that one had 500 milliliters inside. So milliliters are very small. It's a very small unit of measurement. Now, the other unit of measurement that we talked about is liters. And guess what? If you have 1,000 milliliters, that's equal to just one liter. So 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. So a liter is much more. And if you're gonna measure like how much a bathtub holds or how much a kitchen sink holds or even how much a swimming pool holds, you're gonna want to use liters because a liter is a lot bigger than a little milliliter. Okay, so milliliters are used to measure little tiny amounts of liquid and liters are used to measure much bigger amounts of liquid. And milliliters and liters are part of the metric system, okay? Remember, there's two systems in the world. There's customary and there's metric. In the United States, we use a lot of customary measurements like quarts, gallons, pints, cups. Those are customary. The rest of the world doesn't really use those measurements. They use the metric system, which includes liters and milliliters. So it's your job to really know how to use both of those because even though we're in the United States and we use cups, gallons, pints, um, and quarts, on our packages you'll still see liters and milliliters. In fact, one of the most popular things I can think of for liters is the two liter bottle. Okay, like a soda bottle for when you have a birthday party or something. If your parents want to provide a lot of soda pop, for a birthday, they're gonna buy a two liter bottle or a bunch of two liter bottles and pour those soda out for everybody at the party. So I want you to know the difference between a little tiny milliliter and a liter, which is a thousand milliliters, like I said. All right, let's practice that and get that into your head and I'll see you next time.